I don't want to wake up and find another five years have gone by and we are no closer to finding the traitor. Previously on The Assets. Night, Sandy. Rick Ames, the number one suspect. Everyone here must agree. There'll be a series of routine security interviews with our dozen case officers. If you were to spy, how would you do it? That's just not something I've ever, ever really considered. His new house, they paid in cash. He passed, so he's telling the truth. Or he's the best liar I've ever seen. You all have to keep digging. It's not enough to get a federal warrant to surveil Aldrich Ames, to turn his life upside down, the DCI is going to need conclusive proof that he's a mole. There is too much conjecture in this document. Every deposit Ames made at his bank was preceded by one day by a meeting with a known KGB agent at the Russian embassy. Circumstantial evidence. And forget about trying to arrest him. That is miles away. Hey, I have an idea. How about we take Ames up to the seventh floor and have him tell the DCI in person that he's the traitor? Would that be enough? Sandy. I think what she's saying is this is pretty much slam dunk stuff. Not slam dunk enough. He's going to get away with it. After all these years, we're going to lose him. Я тебя очень люблю, Катюш, пойми ну, это, ну, ну, это надо сделать сейчас. Пожалуйста, здесь нет ничего страшного. Пойми это. Тогда ты и делаешь. Ты не знаешь, что я не могу. Катя, просто входи и делай, как мы договорились. Это будет очень легко, я тебе обещаю. Пожалуйста. Ребята, это клетку. В остальном они позаботятся. Хорошо? Хорошо. He contacted U.S. Embassy staff 24 hours ago. He says he has intelligence on our mall. Credible intelligence? Not sure. He says he has hard proof and a name. We agreed to meet him in Berlin. I'll need to be vetted if it's going to be solid enough to get us a warrant. Agreed. Which is why you'll be taking the next flight out. Here's your credentials and your cover. We'll debrief him at a hotel in Preslauerberg. A case officer will meet you there. You're back in the field, Grimes. through the back entrance station, an officer in front and another in the alley behind the hotel. We can't be too careful. There's still a lot of Russian intelligence agents roaming the old parts of East Berlin. This runs a direct wireless connection. I'll ask the questions, you relay them to the subject. If he's a dangle, we cannot let him or the Russians know who's doing the interrogating or who we're after, so you're my buffer. Do you speak Russian? Yes. Good. His code name is GT Avenger, but you'll address him as Alexander. Got it? Yes, Miss Grimes. Oh, please, call me Sandy.
Ты? Шарки 04 никогда не выиграет Бундеслигу. Александр, я очень рада, что вы здесь. Меня зовут Лаура. Продолжай говорить с ним на русском. Make him feel comfortable. Ask him about his trip. You're his friend. You're so happy he's here. Надеюсь, вы хорошо доехали. Вы здесь в полной безопасности. It's when I leave that worries me. We'll take care of you. We will spare no expense to make sure you are protected. That is our top priority. Was it your top priority for Dmitry Polikov? Yes, actually it was. We could have moved him out of the Soviet Union any number of times. But he always refused us. He loved Russia. Wanted to be buried in Russian soil. His choice, not ours. L let's talk about why he was compromised. You have information for us about a mole? I might. Why give it to us now, after all these years? The KGB has changed. It's broke. All of Russia is broke. We already have a German bank account set up for you. If you agree to work with us. I'll want it in dollars. A lot of dollars. Perhaps. But we need to hear what you have to tell us first. Wait it out. Let him steal. Your mole works in SE division. Well placed and counterintelligence. How do you know? I've seen the files at the SVR in Yasineva. How long has he worked for you? Since 1985. He killed Varenik and Martinov. Polishuk, Tolkachev, Polikov. Enough. I know his name. Before you give us his name, we will need proof. Something we can use in an American court of law. I have this proof. But it's still too dangerous for me to tell you. We can make you rich and safe. But we'll need the proof in our hands. the Prime Minister of Uzbekistan from your Rome embassy. Bound up in our offices. Slugged only to the Director of Central Intelligence. And Aldrich Ames. It's real. people who had retrieval privileges to this particular cable were the DCI and Rick Ames. No one else could have laid their hands on it, and yet the Russians have it, which means one of these two men gave it to them. Share it with the FBI and Justice, 
They'll bring it to the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Court. All right, let's go get ourselves a warrant. Great, thank you, absolutely great. Good work. your hands. microphones in every corner. Nothing he says will escape us. But now we'd like to wire his office. Are you kidding me? Bugs, so the FBI can listen inside the CIA? Upstairs will never agree. They already gave it the go ahead. No, 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 this ain't happening. There are lines you don't cross. Art, we can't collect evidence. I know you know that as well as I do. Only the Bureau can, that's the law. Even inside the CIA? That is right. Look, this is our independence and our building. The old rules don't apply anymore. Ames changed everything. so strangely I mean his is he nervous do you think he suspects something shaking <sighs> we need to keep watching I'll take the first shift FBI cameras inside the CIA Times have I got to tell you and your mother things have changed. They've moved me. I'm in counter narcotics now. They put you in that job because they hate you. They don't hate me. And there is nothing wrong with the job. Just not a very lucrative posting for you is all. Have you written them lately? Huh? Have you asked for more money? Look, this is none of your business. None of my business? No. What about those markers? Have you made them? She's talking about dead drop markers. And she knows he's a spy. She knows everything. Makes sense. All of a sudden, the guy's a freaking millionaire. How could she not know? Um, his son Paul is five. They go to jail, and he won't have a father or a mother.
Chinese restaurant, really? That's neutral ground for all three organizations. Took us three days to agree to meet in a restaurant. Took us another three days to agree on Chinese. <laughs> Good evening. Oh, yes. Yeah. Doug Chen with Justice. Jane Bird, Sarah Doug Chen, Justice. Gentlemen. Okay, let's get this started. Ames made a dead drop mark last night. And everyone at this table knows that means he'll either be collecting or dropping intelligence for his Russian handlers. So what's the plan? Well, the one team in his house, one on Military Road, and another at North 26th Street, all possible exit routes. We'll also have a tail beacon on his car in case he loses us. We've been surveilling him for three weeks now, and Ames has yet to leave the house before 8.30. We'll never be more than 30 seconds away from him. And when we catch him in the act, game's over. Done deal. left early. They didn't have a team on him yet. So if he made a dead drop, nobody saw him. How is that even possible? Wasn't surveillance supposed to be 24-7? I don't know. These things happen. No operation runs perfectly. But there's a tail beacon on his car, right? He could still make the drop and the bleeper would tell us where his car is. Gene, his car is in our parking lot. get him to contact his handlers again? Well, he's counter narcotics. I'm not sure they care about that anymore. But he's still in the CIA, and that's precious to them. The Russians will run him till he's dead. We could make him valuable again. How so? Tell him he's up for a new job, something his handlers might find interesting. That would certainly give him a reason to make contact again. Just act normal. Normal as I want to kill him. Deep breath. Okay? You're just doing your job, and your job is to catch them all. You can do this. Okay. Hey, Rick. Morning, Sandy. How's things? Oh, you know, uh, Kelly's a senior now. All that high school craziness. She's never home. <laughs> you? Well, I... Gotta say, you fall in love with your kids fast. Just, uh, sneaks up on you. Uh, you hear the rumor? No, the rumor. They were looking for a new head of Russia House. Your name got floated. No. no. Really? Yeah, I mean, it's just a rumor, but nice job if you can land it. Yeah. See ya. Okay, yeah, okay. See you later. a dozen times in and out in 22 seconds not a sound if even a dog barks Ames will look out the window and make us and if he makes us he'll destroy every shred of evidence he's got and we will never convict
once you've gone through something, develop your own system, okay? If you've seen it, put it aside to the left. Don't throw it right back in the pile because we don't want to be duplicating our efforts here, all right? And if you have anything with writing, keep the writing things on the side. Don't get rid of them. Don't put them back in the pile. There's a counter-narcotics conference in Moscow. Starts Thursday, I leave tomorrow. Can you expedite that with travel? Sure, sure, you bet. Great. Much appreciated. We absolutely cannot let him leave the country. He defected in a heartbeat. But if we stop his trip, he'll know something's up. We've already bugged his office and dangled jobs. He's beginning to suspect. Can we arrest him? Take our chances in court. I don't think we have enough to convict. <sighs> Not yet. We will get him. I promise you, we will get him. Hey, boss, I think I got something here. Come to Papa. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Get over here, guys. He didn't even shred it. Good God. What did Justice say? Can we make an arrest? First thing tomorrow morning. Okay, everybody. Let's call it a night. Art, I am not leaving this building till I know that he's in handcuffs. Everything. Yep, I think so. Good. That's all I need. Uh, all right. Come on, little boy. <laughs> oh. What? What? I'm going to miss you very much. Come here. Mm. All right. Smile. Beautiful. Another one? Perfect. Is that nice? <laughs> I'll miss you very much. Go on. Go on. Off you go. Mm. Have a nice trip. Right. Bye. Bye, Paul. Bye. Love you. You're under arrest for treason. What? No, 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 I can't do this. Got the wrong guy. Got the wrong guy. Got the wrong guy. Please, please. What about my son? Can't do this. Got him. Yes! Oh, shit. 
Congratulations, Gene. Congratulations, Rob. You did good. How about that? We've been watching you for a while. Quite a while. Four weeks of conversation, phone calls. Pretty much got you wall to wall, Rick. Frozen all your assets. All you got is the shirt in your back. So what we'd like is a full confession. Names, dates, figures. So we can all move on, Rick. Because this is an open and shut case. I want a lawyer. FBI froze his bank account so he'll get a public defender. There's enough for a conviction, right? If this goes to trial. But we want his cooperation. We want him talking. We want details. Nine years of spying leaves a lot of unanswered questions. We need to start plugging holes fast. Use his family. His son. He'll tell you everything. Rick, we ask for life without parole. She dies an old lady in solitary confinement. And your son, Paul, never sees his father or his mother again in his life. And if I cooperate, she gets five years, and then we deport her. The kid lives with his grandparents until she gets out. I'll tell you whatever you want to know.
Wait. Wait, wait, wait! He said he'll tell us everything. Thanks for telling me. Oh, one more thing. The agency is going to want to put a face on this with the press and the public. We've got some damage control to do. It was a team effort, Art. I was just Get part... ready to be on television. Uh... Give me a sec, okay? Hello? Oh, hey, it's me. What's up? Been a crazy day. Been out all morning. You wouldn't believe where. Sandy, I, I just landed. I'm late for a meeting. Is this important? I wanted to tell you... Maybe watch the news. The news? Seriously? Yeah, when I get to the hotel. Hmm? Okay, sure. I love you. Love you too. Gotta go. secretly working for the Russians since 1985, selling information to Moscow and living a life of luxury in a Washington suburb on the proceeds. What? What is it? Peter, we have one of the CIA officers involved. I know that guy. James with us here in our Washington, D.C. studios. Sandy Grimes worked side by side with Aldrich James for many years in the CIA. Sandy, what did you suspect Miss Grimes was hey. a spy? Is that, that your Sandy? Yeah. We needed hard evidence to make an arrest. That was that hard That's my wife. <laughs> be unsealed in court, but it was pretty damning. There was no doubt that he was a mole spying for the KGB. He was employed by the Russians. I didn't know your Russians, wife worked for the CIA. As a co-worker, but the goal yeah. was to keep him in the dark it's until we could make an arrest. What she does. It wasn't easy, but we had a dedicated team. We were not going to quit until we found the traitor inside the she agency. She works for the CIA. Sandy. When's this thing gonna start? I'm waiting for two more participants. You know, officers Vertefe and Grimes. Hello, Aldrich. Hello. 
All right, let's start at the beginning. I'd like to hear about every secret you passed, every dollar you were paid, and every asset you killed. Polisher, Martinov, Veronik, Tolkachev, Silev, Smirtanin, Motorin, Pigazov, Yuzhin, and Polyakov. Every single one. Was it hard? Seeing him like that? In prison? Handcuffed? No. It was a relief. I think I'm gonna stay in bed for two weeks straight. Mind if I join you? <laughs> hmm. I'm trying to think of anything more wonderful. All those years, you couldn't tell me. You couldn't tell anyone. I'm so proud of you, Sandy. You are my hero. I was talking to Jean. And we were thinking, this, this might be crazy, but we were thinking we might write a book <laughs> about it all. Yeah, I like that. Mom. Spy. Author. longer do we have to do this? My hand is getting cramped up. Fame is a cruel task, Mr. Maybe I was better in the back room. You were great in the back room. Thank you. There you go. Hello. Hi. Who would you like to make the dedication out to? Uh, not here, please. Could you sign this picture, please? And make it out for my grandfather, Dmitry Polakov. We moved here after the wall fell. Thank you. 